today we discuss about uh, Lindy system for liquefaction of air. Uh, in this system, uh, air is com uh, compressed, cooled, and again it's then decreases its pressure and then uh, it's like uh, it becomes into liquid liquefied air. So how this process is? First, uh, air is compressed uh, through compressor. Uh, it compresses the atmospheric air about uh, 100 to 200 atmosphere then this high pressure air is cooled about 106 minus 106.7 degrees celsius in this heat exchanger it uh, the high pressure air high pressure air is uh, um, and uh, in this heat exchanger the temperature is decreased to minus 106.7 degrees celsius and after that process after the heat exchanger it passes through the expansion wall uh, through this uh, the pressure again comes to atmospheric pressure by expanding of air in expansion wall when it expands then the temperature again reduces to minus 190 degrees celsius and then uh, the air uh, changes in its phase and it becomes liquid air uh, this liquid air is separate uh, with the help of separator taken out and uh, the remaining air particles are taken back to the heat exchanger which uh, extract the heat from the high pressure air and uh, then this air mix up with makeup air uh, which come from the atmosphere uh, with the atmospheric pressure and come from atmosphere which is again compressed uh, compressed in the compressor uh, this whole process is the uh, system for liquefaction of air now uh, we discuss about second system for liquefaction of air that's known as cloud system for liquefaction uh, in this uh, there is a compressor, expander and two heat exchanger as a separator for separating the liquid. In this first of all the comp uh, air is compressed and uh, that compressed air is passes uh, to the first heat exchanger. From this uh, the temperature of uh, air is decreased and with high pressure uh, and uh, after that process air is bled from uh, into the expander uh, where uh, the expander expand the air uh, the total mass of air in the air blade is 80% of the this air of the compressor air uh, and 20% air will passes through the second heat exchanger uh, from this the temperature again uh, reduces with the high pressure and then from passing through the expansion valve it again reduces uh, temperature again reduce with the atmospheric pressure uh, after that uh, the air changes into liquefied air and it's uh, separated from with the help of separator uh, after that uh, the means unliquefied air uh, which is taken back to the compressor uh, and it will mix with the expander air with very low uh, very low temperature uh, this will mix up unliquefied air mix up with the very low temperature and then it will passes through the heat exchanger which extract the heat uh, of a high pressure air and uh, again uh, went to uh, first heat exchanger and from there also it uh, extract heat and uh, then make up air with uh, with the atmospheric pressure mix up with the uh, unliquefied air and uh, bent back to the compressor again the whole process will repeat and repeat and we get continuously a liquefied air so thank you for seeing this video and subscribe this channel below